Hey, guess where I am? I'm in traffic. I'm actually on the highway and we're pretty much stopped, which is a pet peeve of mine. I really just don't like being stuck in traffic, as you might know already. Anyway, welcome back to another video. <clears throat> if I sound a little bit sick, it's because I'm in fact a little bit sick. Uh, I'm coming off a cold this week, which is a bit of a pain in the ass because I hate getting sick for one <clears throat> and two I hate missing shoots which luckily somehow luckily probably because of the eclipse or something I don't know um luckily my first shoot this week was rescheduled because it was raining all day so I'm kind of glad that happened because <laughs> uh, I would I would that's Tuesday was around right when I started to get sick Wednesday I was I didn't even get out of bed all day pretty much. I, I pretty much slept from like, oh my god, from like 9 p.m. almost, 9 or 10 p.m. to 5 p.m. the next day, which is horrifying. <laughs> uh, and then the day after that, it wasn't feeling the greatest still. Um, couldn't do too much work, pain in the ass, uh, which brings us to, to today, which I still feel relatively horrible, <clears throat> but I can tell I'm, I'm catching the tail end of a cold. So not too big of a deal. Still sucks that I have to go shoot today. Um, there's no way from this, this is a rehearsal dinner. Like, there's nothing they can do to reschedule or anything like that. And they don't want to use anyone else besides me, which is good for me. But I'm sick, so that kind of sucks. But yeah, not the not the worst. Not the worst. I, I kind of healed up pretty quick, which which is great. Hopefully I will continue to heal up. Hopefully this doesn't push me back a few extra days. But that's that's the plan right now is to go to the shoot if you shoot there I'm, I'm going to try to take it as easy as I can but once I get once I start working I just I have a problem you know I just start I just get in the, the zone <laughs> but yeah that's the plan hopefully take care of the shoot I have two days blocked after this I am very 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 highly considering blocking off the rest of this month because I am beat <laughs> the first week was was madness i should have done it but you know sometimes that's how it goes uh then i got sick and now i just kind of want a little bit of time to recoup and kind of get some other work done um i'm not super behind on etsy stuff but it's 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 piling up pretty quick which is st still again a good thing but <clears throat> there's some stuff i've been wanting to do uh the past few months that i haven't had a, a chance to do just yet and i really would like to do that uh, including some different videos. I really need to go out and shoot some film, which I haven't really had time to because I've been kind of tackling YouTube a little bit more consistently. And it's just work has just been bananas this year. It was bananas last year. It just keeps getting more and more bananas. I'm trying to figure out other ways to scale up so I can do as much as I can myself without having to outsource that much. So here's, here's the kit I got. I got the R6 with the 24 to 105 f4 l lens the is version i also brought the 17 to 40 whatever it is <laughs> what all rogers freeway tour i believe it's 17 to 40 f4 l lens um for a few wide shots because it's a cramped little spot i'm going to show you um it's a cramped little spot but not super cramped. I'm gonna get the majority of the shots with the 24 to 105. I'm probably gonna use the, the super wide for maybe 10 or 15 minutes at the most. I doubt even that long, but you know, the, the same kit I tend to use for most event shoots and such. Um, I don't remember if I, I said what this was, but this is a rehearsal dinner on the lake at White Rock, which is always a pain in the butt to get to as well. But uh yeah I've, I've shot for this plan before a few months ago um they did another kind of rehearsal dinner it wasn't exactly a rehearsal dinner it was a, uh it, it was two families meeting and just a nice little evening of fun and dinner and stuff um but yeah they they have a pretty pretty straightforward idea of what they need and, and they like my style of shooting and they like how 
a little bit more interactive I am with, with folks. I'm not afraid to uh, walk up to people and, and tell them, hey, picture. <laughs> so that's the plan. Uh, I'm gonna, I hopefully will get there with 15 minutes additional time to look for parking and just to kind of to kind of scope things out um which is about 30 minutes early i'm hoping i get there about 30 minutes early traffic just sucks though so that's why i left almost two hours early to get to a spot that's normally 30 40 minutes out for me but since it's basically rush hour i have to anticipate that <clears throat> So that's the plan. Um, I, oh, I did bring my Godox 685C, um, which I need a new one. I kind of broke it, so I'll have to show you how I broke it. Uh, I didn't bring the dome diffuser just because I don't think I'm going to need it. I'm going to do a little bit more direct flash because they seem to like the more direct flash look. It looks a little bit more retro, if you will. So I'm going to give them those vibes for the flash shots if I need to. Uh, but I think, I think the ceilings are where I'm going I think they're pure white or at least white enough to, to bounce off the ceiling. So I'm not too concerned. I did bring extra batteries just in case I need to shoot flash a bit more, but we're, we're covered, we're covered. We got batteries, cards, all, the, all that stuff that you would normally bring to shoot. Uh, I did bring my earplugs just in case they're pumping music because that happened uh, two shoots ago and I'm so glad I brought my earplugs. Anyway, I'm gonna sit in traffic for a little bit longer, 20 minutes to be exact, to go 8.6 miles away Heck, but yeah, I'm gonna sit in traffic try to relax a little bit more try not to get myself warped up or anything like that Because you can probably hear it. I sound congested. I just got rid of the cough. I've been coughing all morning I was really really scared that I was gonna be coughing during the shoot, but we're good. We're good. No worries All right, we're gonna chill out hang out in traffic and I'll show you around once I get there It's, it's not the same day. Um, it's just not even really the same week. It's been a bit of time since, you know, we last checked in. So here's what happened, here's what happened. Uh, they ended up booking an extra hour. So I stayed an extra hour and then a little, that's just like a few minutes after an extra hour just to kind of make sure everything was good, um, which is cool. I've, I've, I've shot for this person before. Um, and I know those things were, were, were pushing back a little bit. Um, they, were, they, were, they were about to do some speeches and stuff like that. And then I got pushed back. So I checked in. Turns out, yeah, let's book an extra hour. Can you do that? Of course I can. And I ended up saying an extra hour. But here's the problem. I'm still sick. I'm recouping. Um, anyway, I wasn't like sneezing and coughing all over the place. But I was still recouping. I mean, I didn't really have any, any, any time off for, uh, for getting sick except for like one day. So that kind of backfired and I got a little bit tired and hence missed a whole week. But when I say I missed a whole week, I mean, I, I just took a, a week off. I blocked a week so I wouldn't have any shoots. So I can get caught up on rest and caught up on work and all that good fun stuff that you would normally do. So quick reca recap here. Um, I did end up using my flash. Uh, I didn't bring the dome diffuser. I just used the cap diffuser here. So this little guy and pretty much just direct flashed when I had to. I didn't need the flash too much, but they did end up doing speeches outside, which if you saw the, the building I was at, there's a nice kind of basically a pier um, all around and nothing to bounce off of. So definitely wasn't going to point up and just rely on this little bit of, of bounce. So direct flash for the most part, which I kind of hate doing. Uh, just because it's pretty obnoxious, especially when you're doing self roll in a row just to make sure you got no blinks. Uh, but basically, I just bumped up the ISO. Uh, I believe I was anywhere from 2500 to 3200 um, because it was pitch black out there. Uh, and then I, I dropped the power on the flash. So whenever I'm shooting direct, 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 I drop it as low as I can. So minus two, minus three uh, ETTL um, or manual, just submitting on what I'm doing, but I typically shoot ETTLs, let the, the camera do all the metering. Then I bump up my ISO as high as I'm comfortable doing within reason. Uh, lowest power I can, minus two, minus three, like I was saying. And that's direct flash. It, it usually ends up lighting everything pretty pretty well. 
And that also kind of helps with people that are a little bit closer versus a little bit further. So the closer someone is to the flash, the more blown out they're gonna be, the further away, the more to uh, exposure that they will be. But lowering the power on this thing kind of helps mitigate that. And I can always bump up people uh, with a subject mask if I have to, which I did on a few, but not a big deal. So I did end up using this quite a bit um, and I did end up doing direct flash since we had to go outside for speeches. But overall, good shoot. No complaints, nothing really went horrible. I didn't fall in the water. I didn't drop my phone in the water. I didn't drop my camera in the water. Overall, just good times. And it was, it was just, it was nice. Nice outside, nice spot to shoot. I've never shot there before, so I was pretty stoked about that. But I did end up blocking up the week after that to kind of recoup and just catch up. You know, getting sick is just annoying, especially when you have to work through being sick. Anyway. I have another shoot that I have to pack for and I have to leave in a little bit. So I will see you in that one uh, pretty soon for me, but for you, probably next week. All right? Let me know what you're shooting. What gear you're shooting, except Nikon. Don't tell me if you're shooting Nikon because I don't care. <laughs> like, share, subscribe if you want. Uh, if you don't, I don't care. You do you. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, bye.